All right, let's face it. Most of the information that we consume is internet videos. And a lot of these videos are made by people just like you and me. And y'all probably at one point had some interest in making some yourself, but you didn't because you probably thought video editing was a complicated process. Well, I'm here to break down that barrier to entry and teach you guys how to edit videos within the next three minutes. Let's get it. Video editing is one of those things that is only as complicated as you make it. And in this tutorial, we're gonna keep it real simple. We ain't learning to make no Hollywood busters out here, okay? But just because we're learning the basics, doesn't mean you can't make a fire video. All right, so first, you're gonna need a video editing software. I use Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a paid software, but you don't actually have to pay for it if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying. But I actually do pay because I am a law abiding citizen. There's a lot of other options out there like Final Cut Pro if you're a Mac user or there's some free ones like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, which are actually pretty good. But if you don't even have a computer, you can actually edit with apps on your phone. In the end, what you use will be up to you, but this tutorial will apply to any software. By the way, I set my screensaver to white when I'm recording, you know, because I use my monitor as a source of light. That's a ghetto filmmaking for you right there. Adobe Premiere is open. You gotta do click new projects. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it video editing 101. All right, so at this point, I'm assuming you already have your footage. So go ahead and drag and drop or file menu, import that, and boom, just like that, it's imported into your software. So this bin right here is where you got all your imported footage. And this over here, this is your timeline where all the magic happens, all right? This is where you arrange all your clips into the final product. All right, time to teach you guys the one tool to rule them all. The only tool you need to make a good video. We're talking about the razor tool. All right, so it's very important that you go with the grain and not against the guy. I'm just kidding. Anyways, the razor tool is right here. It might be named differently in other software, but they all have it. And essentially what it does is it cuts your clip wherever you click it. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna drag and drop your clip onto your timeline like that. And then you get out your razor tool and start chopping away, removing all the stuff that you don't want and just keeping the good stuff. Get rid of all the dead space and the lines that you thought were good, but it turns out it wasn't. You know, just cut, delete, cut, delete. All right, then you drag all your clips into the order that you want it. If you wanna get fancy with it, you can throw in some background music, some titles. After you feel like you're done, you just go to file, export, media, name the file video editing 101 and you click export down here boom and it begins export and boom just like that man you edited a video all right was it under three minutes i hope so anyways to wrap things up man the razor tool is my number one used tool a lot of my editing is literally just me cutting up my clips with this you're gonna get a lot of jump cuts but that's okay man because like i said we're not making a movie here we're making internet videos and i actually like jump cuts because i'm not trying to watch someone with all their awkward pauses ums likes and butts well actually depends what kind of butts you're talking about <laughs> Just kidding. And let me tell you a secret about editing. It ain't about the special effects and the fancy transitions. 90% of what makes a good video is the storytelling and the pacing. All right, man, y'all officially know how to edit a video. You'll learn all that other fancy stuff on the way. But for now, all that's left for you to do is just to go out there and do. And remember, keep trying to you. Yo, hope you guys found that video useful. If you did, like and subscribe. Man, I'm thinking about maybe doing more of these videos. Might start a weekly series called Three Minute Thursdays. You know, I was inspired by Peter McKinnon's Two Minute Tuesdays, but I had to one up him, give you guys an extra minute. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. It helps me out. And I'll see y'all next Thursday.